the t-shirts are everywhere, hoodies too, sold at marches and rallies and online, all to protest the February shooting of a 17-year-old by a neighborhood watch volunteer. Today's technology, where special printers can take a design and turn it into a wearable statement, operate with much greater ease than older heat transfer or silkscreen systems. Most people don't want the bulk orders of t-shirts unless they're a giant organization, so this really allows people to come in and order one or two t-shirts with whatever they want on it without having to spend $100 per shirt, which would be the cost if you were going through the entire process of screen printing. So as you can see, we've got the image on here printed in just a matter of seconds. Individuals may be one thing, but is anyone profiting from all this? The power of internet marketing means that companies across the country have started selling Trayvon Martin merchandise unconnected to any group. In reaction, Trayvon Martin's parents filed for trademark status for the phrases Justice for Trayvon and I am Trayvon. Attorney Kimra Major Morris says the move was not about profit, but protection. Is for the purpose of protecting the identity of the, um, the source of a product or service. And in this case, there is no product or service per se. Um, the family recognized early on that this had become a movement. The concern is that the family would not be able to preserve Trayvon Martin's memory. Um, we've seen some derogatory messages associated with his name and likeness. And so those are the family's concerns. Major Moore says any income that comes from the trademark will go straight to a foundation, adding there are no current plans to stop people from supporting the family. Tony Winton, Associated Press, Orlando.